psalmist said in Psalm 103, Bless Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Lift your voices and begin to thank God right now for all he has done for you. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him glory. Lift your voices and thank God, lift your voices and thank God. Father, we say thank you. Jesus, we give you praise. Jesus, we give you glory. Lift your voices and thank God right now. Lift your voices and thank God right now. Ensure you are not keeping quiet. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and praise his holy name. Lift your voices and thank God. Jesus, we say thank you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Ensure you are not keeping quiet. Ensure you are not distracted. Lift your voices and thank God right now. Father, we say thank you. Jesus, we give you praise. Jesus, we give you glory. Thank him for that test. Thank him for those things you did. Thank him. Lift your voices and thank God because it's all by his mercies. It is all by his mercies. Father, we give you praise. Now begin to tell God what you want to see in this service. Tell him that you are not going to leave the service empty-handed. Lift your voices and pray right now. Lift your voices and pray right now. It won't be good if you come for one hour and 30 minutes and you waste your time and you are distracted. In the name of Jesus, lift your voices right now and pray. Lift your voices right now and pray. We shall not be distracted in the service. We shall live with our testimonies. We shall live with our healings. Someone is praying right now. Lift your voices and pray. And show you are praying right now. Lift your voices and pray. In the name of Jesus, testimonies are birthed from this service. In the name of Jesus, testimonies are birthed from this service. In the name of Jesus, someone is praying. Someone is praying. Lift your voices and pray. And show you are not keeping quiet. Father, we say thank you. Jesus, we give you praise. Give him all the glory right now. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Put your hands together as we invite the choir. You've been faithful, God. From the ages past. That is why.
Put our hands together for Jesus and kindly be seated. Hallelujah. Very surely we shall be upstanding to pray. When we do, we shall be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the success of the 24th inaugural lecture of Covenant University. To you alone be all the glory. Say, amen, everybody. Amen. Psalm 72, verse 18. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who only doeth wondrous things. With that scripture, let me be standing right now and begin to give God quality thanks, noting that as we give him thanks, he will stretch forth his hand more and more in our midst to do wonderful things in our midst. So let's begin to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the success of the 24th inaugural lecture of Covenant University. To you alone be all the glory. Lift up your voice and engage with thanksgiving. Don't look around. Engage with all your heart. Engage and appreciate God. And God will perfect all that concerns us. Holy Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the success of the 24th inaugural lecture of Covenant University. To you alone be all the glory. Lift up your voice 
and engage heartily, engage in faith, grant giving him thanks that is due unto his holy name. Father, we are here this morning to say thank you for the success, the huge success, the great success given us at the 24th inaugural lecture of Covenant University to you alone. Be all the glory. Father, we are grateful to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father, we are grateful. We have come with a loud voice this morning, giving you thanks, giving you all the glory. Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for the success of the 24th inaugural lecture of Covenant University. To you alone be all the glory. Lift up your voice and engage in thanksgiving this morning. Holy Father, we say thank you. Thank you and thank you and thank you, Lord, for the success of the 24th inaugural lecture of Covenant University. To you alone be all the glory. We are grateful to you, Father. Father, we thank you because of these great wonders you have done in our midst. We say thank you. We bless your holy name. We appreciate you heartily, Lord. Father, we say thank you. We are grateful to you. Ensure the Lord is hearing your voice. Ensure the voice of thanksgiving is being heard from our midst this morning. And God will multiply us more and more. Father, we say thank you in the name of Jesus for the success of the 24th inaugural lecture of Covenant University to you alone be all the glory. Abba, Father, we say thank you. We are grateful to you, Father, for this great thing you did in our midst. On the 24th, Father, Father, we say thank you. We bless your name. We appreciate you, Lord. We are grateful. Thank God in your understanding. Thank God also in the spirit. Bless his holy name. Bless him. Not unto us. Not unto us, Lord. Unto thy name we give glory. Father, we say thank you for the success of the 24th inaugural lecture of Covenant University. To you alone we have returned to give glory. Father, thank you. Lord, we are grateful to you. Engage heartily. You can thank God in the spirit. Thank God also in your understanding. By all means, let the Lord record your voice this morning, the voice of thanksgiving. Father, let it be as we return the glory to you. Accept our praise. Accept our thanks. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Put your hands together for Jesus and please be seated in his presence. Praise the Lord. Secondly, we shall be rising up shortly to pray in this manner, saying, Father, let every faculty, staff, and students of this university be opened up to new depths of wisdom and understanding, provoking an eruption of laudable inventions for the attainment of Vision 10 2022 this year. I thought someone would say amen. amen. Job chapter 32 verse 8 says, But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty give them, them understanding. Let us rise on our feet and lift up our voices and pray. Saying, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, let every faculty, staff, and student of this university be opened up to new depths of wisdom and understanding, provoking an eruption of laudable inventions for the attainment of Vision 10 2022. Pray, lift up your voices. Remember, wisdom is the principal theme. And all our gettings, we should get understanding. The giver of wisdom is God. And that's why we need to lift up our voices and ask of him, the one who giveth liberally and upbraideth not. Let's lift up our voices and say, Father, let every faculty, staff, and student of this university be open to new depths of wisdom and understanding. The wisdom of yesterday is not sufficient for the assignment of today. 
lift up your voices and ask to say, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, let every faculty, let every staff, and all of our students, Lord, be opened up to new depths of wisdom and understanding. Lift up your voices this morning. It's not a time to look around. It's a time to ask. ask. It shall be given. Seek. You shall find. Knock. And the door shall be open. Is somebody praying this morning? Say to God, Father, we ask as an institution, Lord King of glory, let new depths of wisdom come down on each and every one in the name of Jesus Christ. Let new depths of understanding that will provoke the eruption of lawful inventions for the attainment of Vision 10 2022. Lift up your voices this morning and pray. The giver of wisdom is here in our midst. Ask him. Pray this prayer. Say, Father, fresh wisdom from above. Let it come upon us as a faculty, as a staff, and as a student. Pray this morning, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, let new depths of wisdom and understanding come upon us that will provoke the eruption of laudable inventions for the attainment of Vision 10 2022. Lift up your voice this morning, this beautiful morning. You have an open check to ask God for this fresh depth of wisdom, fresh depth of understanding. Pray, pray this morning. Lord King of glory, we ask in the name of your son Jesus Christ for new depth of understanding, for new depth of wisdom that will provoke the eruption of laudable inventions for the attainment of Vision 10 2022. Speak to the Lord this morning, a prayer answering God. He doesn't store them, He answers them and He does speedily. Lift up your voices and pray, Father, in the name of your Son Jesus Christ, let every faculty, staff, and student of this university be opened up to new depths of wisdom and understanding that will provoke the eruption of laudable inventions for the attainment of the vision 10 2022 pray this morning just one minute to go lift up your voices be intentional about this prayer tell god the giver of wisdom the giver of knowledge the giver of understanding lord we ask this morning grant us fresh wisdom from above new depths of wisdom new depth of understanding that will provoke the eruption of laudable inventions for the attainment of the vision that is set ahead of us. Lift up your voices and begin to magnify his name. Say, Father, we are grateful because you have heard us this morning. For whenever we ask anything according to your will, you hear it us. We give you all the praise. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. That amen can be better than that. Good morning to us all. You can have your seat in God's presence. Praise the Lord. Shortly again, we'll be rising up to pray. And this time we'll be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let strange doors of favor be opened to every faculty, staff, and student of Covenant University this semester, thereby turning everyone to a living wonder. Can I hear your big amen? In the book of Psalms, chapter 43, verse number 3, the Bible says, For they got not the land in possession by their own hand, by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance, because thou hast a favor unto them. Shall we be on our feet and lift up our voice to ask God for strange doors of favor to be opened to every one of us, faculty, staff, and student of Covenant University this semester. Father, in the name of Jesus, let strange doors of favor be opened to every faculty, staff, and student of Covenant University this semester, thereby turning everyone to a living wonder. Can you lift up your voice on high? Let God hear your voice this morning, asking for strange doors of favor to be opened to you and to every faculty, staff, and student of Covenant University this semester. Abba Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let strange doors of favor be opened to every faculty, every staff, and student of Covenant University this semester, 
thereby turning every one of us to a living wonder. Heavenly Father, we ask in the name of Jesus, let strange doors of favor be opened to every faculty, staff, and student of Covenant University this semester, thereby turning everyone to a living wonder. Lift your voice, pray the prayer that must be answered this morning. Pray in faith, pray in faith. By your favor, Lord, you make my mountain to stand strong. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask for strange doors of favor to be opened to every faculty, staff, and student of Covenant University this semester, thereby turning everyone to a living wonder. Heavenly Father, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus, let strange doors of favor be opened to every faculty, staff, and student of Covenant University this semester, thereby turning every one of us into a living wonder. Let heavens hear your voice of intercession this morning. Cry unto the Father, ask for favor. It is favor of God that makes the difference. Abba Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask for strange doors of favor to be opened to every faculty, every staff, every student of Covenant University this semester. Yes, Lord, you say you will encompass the righteous with favor. Lord, let doors of favor, strange doors of favor, be opened to every faculty, staff, and student of Covenant University this, this semester, thereby turning everyone to a living wonder. Let heaven hear your voice this morning. Cry unto the Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, let strange doors of favor be opened to every faculty, every staff, and student of Covenant University this semester, thereby turning everyone to a living wonder. Father, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus that strange doors of favor be opened to every faculty, every staff, and every student of Covenant University this semester, thereby turning every one of us into a living wonder. Let heaven hear your voice this morning. Make sure you are praying. You can pray in the spirit. You can pray in your own understanding. But make sure you are speaking to your father in heaven this morning. Abba, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask, Lord, for strange doors of favor be opened to every faculty, staff, and student of Covenant University this semester, thereby turning everyone to a living wonder, thereby turning every one of us, Lord, to a living wonder. Father, in the name of Jesus, let strange doors of favor be opened to every faculty, staff, and student of Covenant University this semester, thereby turning everyone to a living wonder. Lift your hands and begin to give him thanks. Begin to appreciate him for the answered prayer this morning. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Please put your hands together for Jesus and be seated. If those hands are for Jesus, it can be better. In this service, it's testimony time. Can I hear believe in my breakthrough time? The choir in the opening praise sang Nasoso wonder Jesus they do. And also in the first prayer call, we read from the book of Psalm 72 and verse 18. It says, blessed be the Lord God, the God, I paraphrase, of Covenant University, who only doeth wondrous things. The Lord has been good to us, and the following individuals have seen the good hand of the Lord, and they've returned to testify. Please, as you hear your name quickly, rush down to share your testimony. Adigzi David Abundance. Adigzi David Abundance. If that sounds like your name, please quickly march forward to share your testimony. As it comes, let us listen to this documented testimony. This is from Ogunyemi Tolua Lache, International Relations. The title is captioned, Thanksgiving. I am genuinely grateful to God 
as he is truly a good God. But more specifically, I am grateful for the month of June. I enter the month as every normal month, but I saw God more than before. Last semester was one of the toughest and most confusing semester I have ever had in Covenant University. For the first time ever, I had no idea how my exams went. And when people asked, asked me to avoid telling them the truth, I would say, thank God. But to God alone be all the glory, when I saw my results, God, God went before me and gave me a perfect GPA. If those hands are for Jesus, it can be better. Additionally, God added a year to my parents' wonderful marriage. My life and my sister's life, at the same time, God granted my sister a six-figure job in the U.S. I have returned to give God all the glory. To him alone be all the glory. Please, your name and what the Lord has done for you in one minute. Praise the Lord. Um, my name is David Abundance at Gizi. Um, I'm here to give God all the glory for my life, for the life of my family. Um, when I resumed school the first week, um, I called my mom and I was talking with her and she sounded so down and I was like, what's wrong? She was like, she's been feeling so down. She has been going to the hospital and she doesn't know what's wrong. So um, first, um, that week was the spiritual week of emphasis and I missed the Wednesday one. And I made sure to come for the Thursday one and chaplain was saying we should pray. So I stood in the gap for my mother. I prayed and I prayed like never before, like I've prayed in my life. And also I was feeling a serious back pain that has been going on for a long time. And that certain day, I just said, today I'm not leaving this place with this back pain. And I brought that prayer, and I prayed, poured out my heart to God. And the next day, I, call, I called my mom, and she said she was feeling so good. She doesn't know what happened. She was just feeling so better. Also, in that service, I felt a tingling sensation at my back. Till today, I've not had that back pain again. I just want to give God all the glory. Also, he gave me a very wonderful result like I've never seen before. I just want to give God all the glory. Who is the doer of all this testimony? Somebody confident that in this month of July that we are stepping into, that Nasoso wonder you go to see, announce to your neighbor to your left and to your right, I go testify. Please put those beautiful hands together for Jesus as we invite the Covenant University Choir. Covenant University, bless the name of the Lord. If you know that in the presence of God, everything is made whole, bless his name. Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus, we thank you for your grace. Magnify the name of the Lord. He has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Lift up your voices and lift up your hands and talk to him. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy. This is the last service in the month of June. We have seen his help. We have seen his grace. We have seen his protection. We have seen his preservation. Saints of God, will you reckon with the presence of God and appreciate him? Appreciate him for his mercies. Appreciate him for his grace. He kept us from day one. And we are rounding up the month from the first service to this last one service for the month of June. Give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. He's worthy. Heavenly Father, we thank you as individuals and as an institution because of your good end of grace. You've been our help all through this month. We make it not light. And we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For the grace that you have given us Oh yes, we can never repay you But from our hearts we like to say that we Can you genuinely thank God? We thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, yes, Lord. Jesus. Oh, yeah. For the grace that you have given us. Oh, we could never repay you from my heart. We like to say, come on, personalize that Thanksgiving right now. Thank you. Are you genuinely? Thank you. Thank you. Come on, sing it. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace you have given me. All the grace that you have given me.
Heavenly Father, we return to give you all the praise and the glory and the honor. You kept us from the beginning of the month of June to this moment. You have again and again sent us your word. You've been our preserver. You've been our provider. You've directed our steps in all our affairs, both as individual and as an institution. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the adoration. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that yet again you will give us a crowning encounter this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Send us your word today. We are at your feet. Show us the way to go. Teach us the path to follow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you and thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Put those wonderful hands together for Jesus. And please, you may take your seat. One more time this morning, I want to count it a great privilege of God standing here before great saints of God to minister in God's word on the behalf of our chancellor. I want to acknowledge the presence of our able vice chancellor, our registrar, members of management, all our esteemed professors, faculty and staff, our postgraduate students here present, and kings and queens in Hebrew. May God continually richly bless you all. Amen. Let me hear a resounding amen. amen. We've been dwelling for the past four to five weeks on the subject of wisdom. And I want to believe that every one student will glean on the wisdom of God that has been made available. And I pray that God's grace will be released upon us continually in Jesus' name. Both in pictures and in scriptures, all through the months, we've been running to see our earthly wisdom or natural wisdom or common sense, you may call it, has its limitations. How acquired an intellectual wisdom has its limitations. And how real the diabolical wisdom, occultic power, has its limitations. But there's a wisdom of above that is limitless, that cannot be stopped, whose ways are past finding out, and who will always triumph in the affairs of life. I pray that this wisdom will be available to everyone individual here. Let me hear believing amen. amen. Wisdom is justified by her children. And what is that children? The results. Young people are here today. Either you are wise or you are foolish. It's just a few years that will show it. Oh, you are not listening to what they are telling you now. It's just a few years, it will be evident. So learn wisdom. To the part of understanding. Remember scriptures there, he that wandered out of the place of understanding dwells in the congregation of the dead. Nothing happens. If somebody understands why is in this place and what is meant to get and the wisdom of God is meant to connect with in every way, then it would do better. Covenant hour of prayer this morning and like it does, even during this service, you see a lot of young people, prayers are going on and they are simply watching. Praise is going on and they are st simply stagnant. 
Now, let me give this warning. I gave it to the covenant hour today. Postgraduate students are here. At least they have some experience that you undergrads don't have. And the earlier you understand certain things in your life, the earlier you learn wisdom. That young man said, I prayed like never before. You won't break scriptures. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be opened unto you. He that asketh, receive it. What you don't ask, you are not permitted to have. So when prayers are going on, it's our privileged opportunity to ask. Miles Monroe defines prayer as giving God permission to act in the affairs of men. So every time you keep your mouth shut, when a prayer is being said, both for you or any other, you have just counted yourself out. And that's why we often say a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Closed mouth. To someone, he thinks coming to prayer or praying at all is doing somebody good. No. Nope. Is doing you all the good that you require. May you not become a prayer point. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear your amen. amen. If you know what that prayer means, may you not become a prayer project. I told the students this morning, I said, listen to me. If you don't listen and do what is required now, do you know what happens? The same parents who paid your school fees now, you know that's what life is. You find people, they didn't do, I said three things, laziness, carelessness, and disobedience that they didn't deal with in their lives. The wisdom of God was available for them, but they didn't hear. They come later in life, and guess who is the source of their problems? Their parents. Like I said to someone, and I'm saying it this morning, May those parents not become now the witches and wizards that are pursuing your life for lack of obedience. Because that's what it becomes. That's what it becomes. But if someone can take to wisdom now, someone just testified a week of spiritual emphasis. I'm not sure anybody, there are people who are in this school for six years, seven years, four years, five years, who has not emphasized anything spiritually? Nothing. He's just eating and drinking every day till he finishes five years. He doesn't know what prayer is. doesn't know what week of emphasis is. He just understands that there are some people who are just troublers of Israel, trying to trouble his life. We talk about this devilish wisdom, diabolical wisdom. Many don't know what it means. They just think. And some people just think that their parents are just too serious. Warning, they will give. Oh, no, 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 mommy, don't worry about it. I'm just okay, I'm just okay. And you know, part of the confusing part is that some just feel because they are not too excellent in academic and they are not backward in their academic. They are just on the middle line, so that I'm just okay. You joke. And there was a truth that came to me this morning. Listen to me. Faculty staff and also the postgraduate students will say this. Maybe... Somebody may say I'm wrong, but I will still say it. From my own little findings, someone says, why the push toward academic excellence and push towards performing right? This is it. How many students, postgraduates that are here, will be bold enough in this job market and in this strife for excellence to carry a third class degree around looking for a job. How many? 
when there are deluge of people, where there are deluge of first class, when the student had a choice, now from my own, I say, someone says yes, there are some individuals who break through in life even though they didn't do well academically. You are correct with the help of God. But the percentage, the percentage. How many employees will have 2-1 and 2-2 two two and first class will want to pick a third class even where there is skill? So what does it result to? First of all, the self-esteem of a third-class student is eroded because he is not too confident to bring out that result. That's number one. Then number two is that in case he doesn't have entrepreneurship acumen of starting and manning a business, everything requires work, either intellect, Either business, even if they make you a marketer, you still need a lot of attention and wisdom to accomplish it. I'm sure there are some postgraduates here who have been marketers before. Am I saying something? They give you a product to market, and in three months, you don't get results. That's why I said it is not efforts made, but results obtained. Why many of us, I said this morning, many individuals said that now, how many of, okay, maybe some people have not, how many ate yesterday, students, undergrads, how many ate food yesterday? You ate yesterday. Ah, you did not eat? No, 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 I want you, if you ate, you are in God's presence, so raise your hand. Either you ate once or twice, doesn't matter, but you ate food yesterday. Very good, you ate. I, I don't get you didn't eat. <laughs> you had food yesterday. Excuse me, did any devil stop you from eating? Was devil aware that you were eating? Did he hold your hand from eating? But you ate because you were hungry and the devil was not there to hold you from eating. You know you needed to eat. So you ate without any recourse to the devil. Then someone will say, oh, but my spiritual life, but my prayer life, but the word, eh, I'm just struggling. The devil doesn't want me to go ahead. You joke. I told someone, I said, there is, we have heard God's servant said it now. There is no spirituality software. Please, if you find it, let us know. If computer engineers have designed it, let us know that you can press a button of fast for me, pray 30 minutes every hour, then help me study my Bible from Genesis to Malachi. Then next week I'm going to talk. You press the button and it begins to do the thing for you. Never. Even when you have e-books that the machine reads, you still need to invest quality time in listening to the book and digesting it. So, and time is a universal currency that every one of us have. Time, a universal currency that every one individual has, every student, you have it here. Vice Chancellor, with every due respect and grace, does not have more than the 100 level student or 300 level. Everybody has the same 24 hours. But the question is it, what we pack in it determines what happens in our lot. If we can think, because all through this month it's been wisdom, it's been wisdom, it's been wisdom, how it's important for us to have a studious life. How is it important for us to separate ourselves? But the question is this, are we really walking in that wisdom? Did any 500 level student who is graduating in some few months time understand it? I told the student who is graduating and I said, 
there is no software for spirituality. No software. Fast, you must fast. Pray, you must pray. Study God's word, there is no software. And listen to me. If you ever get into the hands of prayer contractors, you will suffer long. I'm telling you, sir. You will suffer long. Prayer contractors, you will suffer long. If you cannot take responsibility to take up your life, fight the battle and win the battle through the instrument of faith that is delivered into your hand. Go from pillar to post, you will suffer, sir. Faculty are here. They can testify of some few things. So the earlier you get it that you need to do this thing, you need to pray when you have to pray. You need to fast when you have to fast. You need to do the things when you need to do it because if you don't, when the circumstances of life begin to show their head, like I said, may you not start calling those, because you see, you hear many things. May you not start calling those your parents, the witches and the wizards that are against your life. But they are all the function of your disobedience to God, your carelessness and your laziness in keeping up. So a student who will not pay the price now of burning the midnight and pay the price now of putting things in order, how does he think that he will move even to get a master's program? Okay, there is no master's program. You have to do PGD, right? with a third class before you do master's. There's no PGD again. There's no... Only a CEO. No, I know there's no postgraduate diploma here now, but they do it outside, right? So because before a third class can do a master's, he has to do postgraduate diploma. Am I correct? Okay, you, we won't take him here. Finish. What's it on? What's it on? Can you see? See this. So, so what is it? So now, a third class student will go and do postgraduate diploma and cannot come to university, Covenant University or possibly any other private university. Now, he has one year. Can you see? But all he needed in this institution is to put a little pressure on his life. And possibly he says, oh, I'm going to make business. Business? And they think that uh, how to make 50,000, make 100,000. You know how all these children just call 1,000 as if they are, they are counting cobble. Oh, when I just pam, 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 then I'll just make 100,000. Except it's yahoo, yahoo. And that's why they are scamming many of you from the, for, for this quick money business. I've never lost money in my life, never. Yahoo has never yahoo me anywhere. It cannot. With the anointing and with the wisdom of God, it will not. Any waff and woeful. That's what they tell me. I don't know what the translation is inside. So help me, please. Me wafa. I'm not looking for easy money and consistency. So you just enter one place. Okay, put twenty thousand to forty thousand. We come out. Okay, they will first give you the twenty thousand. That's very good. Until you bring two hundred thousand, and let's see where the the rest will come out. Voicemail straight. Because they just look and all that. And many individuals are not that they look at. Easy way to make money. I was told sometimes that they even make money from YouTube and uh, whatever. No wonder people just look for crazy things to do. They don't look for one lie that everybody who is not sensible will see. <laughs> so they will just post it. Everybody is not following it. So that many people will be visiting the site. Rubbish. Okay, if you lie today, will you lie tomorrow, then next tomorrow, then next week tomorrow? People who don't find out that you are just a liar, they will leave you alone. Even people who are trying to get uh, attention by, by talking to some of our fathers in the faith, ah, ah. I think some people have kept quiet now. Because if they don't keep quiet, he will just kill himself, sir. You talk stories, you just abuse people so that they can say, okay, this is it. That's all right. Come on, say wisdom. My assignment this morning is just to bring to consciousness that it's not enough to have learned all the precepts of divine wisdom without putting them to work. 
if all we have learned and all we are learning, especially for the undergrads, you are learning over and again. They are just things that are passing through your, your mind without processing for an execution. You are of all men most miserable. 2,500 of you, you are in school right now. 600, 500 level. 900, uh, 400 level and over 1,300 level students. It's left to you. Make your choice and make it rightly. Put yourself to work and put it rightly. Pray as you ought to pray. And see God change your story. If you impute yourself in what God requires of you now, then destiny and life will smile on you. I pray that what everyone will see in this place, because like I said, five years maximum, either you have worked in foolishness or you have worked in wisdom, it will show. But I pray that all the virtues of the Lord that is flowing from this fountain of grace will reach out to your lives. I want to recommend strongly one of the literatures of God's servant, Born to Win, for anyone who has not read any, because there are some, of, there are some people who are here now, who have not read one book of God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo, and as undergraduates here. One book. It's not because it's his books, but there are many other books. I'll post a book on your telegram, I think by today, When God Does Not Make Sense. It's, it's written, I've, ju I've just finished reading the book, and I think it needs a lot of, a lot of people need to think properly. Because this world or this, this, um, Written by James Dobson, one of um, Christian authors, and um, has been very, very important in directing the life of teenagers and youth and all manners of things to give them direction. Because a lot of people are just confused and for no reason of sort. I pray the Lord will help us with wisdom in Jesus' name. So we ran through the month. Today is just a crowning course, like I said. We have looked through the, what inspiration is, what meditation is, how real is wisdom from above, and where the place of reasoning is in place. And what we must do to assess this divine wisdom. We talked about the reason why we must be committed to feeding on God's word consistently. Remember, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 to 17, scriptures say, all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that a covenant university student may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I paraphrase that. So either it's Covenant University, either it's a postgraduate student, either it's chaplain, either it's a staff, either it's a professor, if you must be told, you must be made perfect and be thoroughly furnished in all good works. You require scriptures. You require scriptures. You require profitable doctrine. You require reproof and you require instruction. All important. So those who are not interested in instructions. Some who sleep when the instruction is going on. May life not become slippery for you. That's the truth. Because instructions keep going. And it's only the function of how much we grab of it and utilize it. Many young people are beginning to make some realization, and I'm glad about it, but let it be 
There are many others. I said this morning, may you just not count in this number. What do I mean? God's servant was sharing yesterday in the prayer meeting and said, which is scripture? We saw the life of um, Gideon, 32,000 persons. 22 went back for fear. Only 300 survived to get to the Gideon army. May you not just count in the number in this institution. Because there are individuals here who God has deposits of grace inside of them. But if they will wake up to take up the wisdom of God. So today, as we conclude in this month, sit back for every student here, both postgraduate and also the undergraduates. Sit back and ask yourself, where am I? You just heard now. Maybe some don't even know that when you have a third class, you cannot come back here. Or you cannot even, somebody say, I'm not ready to come back here. Okay, go, go and do your postgraduate diploma. Another one here. Somebody says, I'm not coming back to Covenant. Who wants you here anyway? <laughs> yes. I make bold to say, and this is not just this thing. If all the students go from here, that is every 6,000, and the registrar puts a advertisement that we need a replacement of 6,000 students in one month. How many know we'll get it? It will be gotten, sir. By the grace of you, it will be, be gotten. One week, in fact. He said one week. You will get everything back. There are people that are... I saw a testimony this morning. It was too long. Agbaebe, Anita's testimony. I saw her testimony. She finished school in 2015. She got admission in 2018. She, 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 the testimony is long. That's why I didn't take time. But I will... I will, I will make it a coincidence testimony for people to know. But how she believed God, she engaged in stewardship, she pressed hard and got a scholarship and she's in school, but she has finished school since 2015. And there are many there like that. Some people don't know anything. And that's why, you know, some of the time, some people, they are not serious because everything has just been going from primary school to secondary school to uh, university and all that. I'm just 16 years old, so he thinks that he has all the time to waste, especially for the boys. He has all the time to waste, so he can play around a little and all that. But those who have seen something are waking up to consciousness. She's in 300 level now and doing what God be. And you cannot play with someone. Someone came from Cameroon, is in 200 level now. He has finished school in Cameroon before coming here, all because of the desire of wanting to come here. Oh, <laughs> uh, you joke. You see, that's what I'm saying. Where you are thinking, I have had calls from Kenya, sir. Kenya. I had to send to the international office. Someone was calling from Kenya and you all across the world. They want to come here. And somebody is just getting, uh, okay, okay, Covenant University, da 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 da. No, so we stay down there. You go, somebody else will take your seat without anybody knowing anything has happened. But you, we, we all, including myself, will not lose our place. Amen. That's what it is. If we understand that, then we'll play the ball rightly. I often say, a valuable player cannot be benched. The moment you are valuable to God and his kingdom, you remain on the field. That you don't have reserve, you are joking. If you break your leg and go, they will replace you easy. They won't even know you existed. So there is no one that thinks that, no, he's not regarded the... Is it my assignment? Is it not a privilege? Do I think that I'm a one chaplain? No, never. There are 10,000 that are better than this person standing here that will do 10,000 times more than. God's word never fail. So the moment we are in anything, we are in privileged position. Now listen, if a student considers his placement in this university as a privilege, he will walk in wisdom. You will walk in your season with most consciousness. And the help of God will be available to you. 
Well, brethren, we have capped this month. I pray that the few weeks left for you graduating students, may the wisdom of God be available to you. May these words that have come from the altar of grace repeatedly not stand against you. That these words will be lifters of your head wherever you go. And the grace and the favor of God will be rested upon your life. He said, do not be hearers alone, but be doers of the work. So may you do the work and may you find his benefits in Jesus' precious name. Let's rise up on our feet. Praise, Praise the Lord. Can you just simply make a prayer for yourself, this hour, students? Heavenly Father, everyone student, can you pray this prayer? Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. grant me understanding. Grant me wisdom. In executing my assignment in Covenant University, let your grace be released upon me that I will not just count in the number, I will count in your kingdom and in this institution. Give me understanding. I shall live in Jesus precious name I'll pray for you Heavenly Father let your word permeate the hearts of your children either the ones that they are hearing on this altar or the ones that have been shared with them across board in every location by faculty by staff by loved ones that they will do your bidding and willfulness to obey you and let it bring an outcome of grace in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's give Jesus a hand clap of praise as we receive the vice chancellor as he closes us in the service. If they are for Jesus, please clap and clap better. Praise the Lord. Again, give the Lord a big hand of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, sir, for being a blessing to us. May the Lord replenish you on all sides. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 13 and verse 16, it said, Blessed are your eyes for they see. Blessed are your ears for they equally hear. All of these things you are hearing and all of these things you are seeing, they are for your profiting. And I pray that as you put them into practical use, you begin to speak for you the rest of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Please note that the mid-semester exam comes up next week. You are not clapping. I'm sure someone here will be promoted very shortly. Well, just to add to what Chaplin mentioned today, for you to secure a placement in Covenant University postgraduate program, you need a minimum of 3.0 CGPA. Not, meaning that if you come out with a 2.2, you may not even get a place in Covenant University. Your own alma mater, for instance, so that is how tough it is to come to our postgraduates. Now, put your hands together for our postgraduate students this morning. So you must work hard. Tell your neighbor, say, work hard. Don't be lazy. Praise the Lord. Now, lift your hands up this morning and begin to appreciate him again. Give him glory, give him honor, give him adoration. Father, thank you. Lord, thank you, thank you for enduing me with grace of hard work, grace to be diligent in all I do, all through this semester and beyond. Father, we give you praise, and in Jesus' wonderful name, we have given thanks.
then surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Academic Pledge Studio. As a new generation leader, I'll be responsible in my endeavors, diligent in my task, making the necessary sacrifice to build capacity in order to make possible seemingly impossible feats. I shall maintain a high level of integrity in all I do, and above all, imbibe the core values of spirituality. So help me God. Amen. Welcome to 2021, your year of supernatural turnaround. Then expect turnaround to become your new identity from henceforth. Amen and amen. Vision 10, 2022. And Vision 10, 2022. Congratulations.